What is up, YouTubers, gamers, and hobbyists? Welcome to On the Bench with Pete, the series that you put on in the background whilst you're doing your hobbying or painting, building, whatever it is you're doing, housework, whatever. You know, you get, you understand. You've you've been here before. Well, I assume you have. If you haven't, that's what it is. You just put this video on in the background whilst you carry on with what you're doing. Uh, grab yourselves, you know, uh, a coffee or some other refreshment. I would surmise it's about an hour. And I talk about some stuff. Sometimes I even talk about hobby stuff. Stuff about the channel, stuff about my life, the universe, whatever else is going on, really. And um, But yeah, we'll do it. We, we focus in on the um, the bench, what I'm working on right now. I've got some interesting uh, bits and pieces here, which I want to talk about anyway. So grab your glues, brushes, models, paints, whatever else you need. And let's get to the bench. Right, well, as you can see, I'll move these out, but you've seen these before, these targets, archery targets, and these Age of Sigmar figures, which I'm going to be using for my uh, Gladiator Arena later on, further down the line. Role-playing stuff. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Got some intriguing bits and pieces here. Now, I'm going to start by tidying them up a little. I wasn't even, I'm not even sure if I'm going to bother start painting these I mean I could just prime them ready get them prepped couldn't I because those of you who have been with me in my story for any length of time you know that I'm planning on moving to Seton yay um, it's my dream sort of utopia place really it's where I, it's where I grew up basically you know Seton born and bred but no I wasn't I came to Plymouth, uh, that's the thing, uh, my gosh, that was, a, was that a culture shock or what for me, but you, you guys know that story, so we don't need to go into that here, um, I will say, the Christmas P and Q, um, I'm starting to plan that now already, I've got questions for that um, already, are some but I'd like some more um, so I've put out a, uh, a post on the community tab on YouTube sort of asking you guys for questions or comments that I can um, address in P&Q like I always do and um, yeah we'll have a good time it's probably going to be I said that last time with the Halloween one probably going to be the last if I do it here it's going to be the last one I do here that's for definite um, that's for definite um, now I may not get to do it here it may be in the season when I do it but wherever it is it's going to be somewhere I, and I'm going to need I'm going to still going to need the questions of course um, you know, it could be if I, I'm at, I'm in Seaton, but I'm not set up yet in this, in my new studio, wherever, however that's going to be set up, which is going to be one of the spare rooms, um, in the house, house slash cottage that we're buying, and um, yeah, so that's going to be that's going to be different, but if it's not set up, I will do it in Seaton somewhere, it'll be outside somewhere, some location or locations, might be an opportunity to show you around Seaton a little, who knows, who knows, I could do, I could literally do, I could literally do <laughs> a question, in, each question in a different location, that'd be funny, that'd be fun, I, that's something I intend to do one day anyway, but so here and now, right, so I've tidied these up a little. These are 3D printed, um, like, barrels and boxes, crates and things that you'd see at a dockside or a marketplace or out, possibly outside of an inn. As you know, I've got plans of things for my um, role-playing campaigns that I'm going to be doing. And once I get going, and I just want to get going, I just want to get going. But that's, that's, that's fine. Um... I thought about, I'll just spray these, and I thought, nah, do you know what, I don't know if I can be bothered. I like hand painting them. I don't like the greys so much, which I'm going to do for these bad boys. 
because um, it bubbles a lot. But I, I do enjoy just doing it because it's mindless. I can just yap to you guys and one, two, three, four, five, just one, one more, one more lid. Six, there we go. How is that? Look at that. So, uh, I'm gonna do a, a, a sort of a, a, a bit of a life update uh, in a chill with Pete later on, I think, hopefully. I said something similar last week, as I recall, and I didn't get to do it, because real life. <laughs> well, the thing is, <laughs> our daughter doesn't live with us anymore. She's she's moved out. So when she comes around, I, I kind of like to spend time with her and my wife, you know, as a family, um, rather than just being antisocial and staying out here. I, I kind of like, you know... Yeah, I just want to spend time with them, so, you know, that's fair enough, isn't it? Right. Just popping these on here now. There we go. Just the little holders. Oh, I, I, I watched episode one. I have a series called 1899 yesterday, and I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> I had, I'd had i heard some good reviews about it. I tried it. It wasn't for me, so that's that. That's that. Want to do white primer? Yeah, let's do some white primer. Some white primer for a while. Yeah, so, so, so that's that, you know. No, I think grey, actually, thinking about it. Thinking about it, we really need, need grey, grey primer. <sighs> Make your mind up, Pete. Come on now, get a grip. Yeah, so that we can use um, contrast paints and the like. Oh my goodness, <sighs> you all. <sighs> I'm, I'm, yeah, so that we can use contrast paints and the like and I can get these done quicker. Um. Then I can um, I can prep prep them with this grey, which is a nice light colour, you know. And I can I can do that. Doesn't matter too much what brush I use. Um, I can move these dudes off of the little A4 or A yeah A4 sort of square painting cutting mat I've got here. I'll leave these archery things on for the moment. I, I, I put some wash on a couple of the carpets I was uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing. Yeah, the, these, this, these ones here. Not, the, not that red one, that was done last week. But um, I did the blue one and a sort of a ochre coloured one. And uh, so just so that can be drying, basically. You know, if I don't if I don't get to painting these here before I move, that's fine. I can live with that because I am supposed to be sort of getting stuff off the bench, not adding to it. And what I've just done essentially is add to it, but uh, oh, that's all right. That's okay. Bubbling is not too bad. I mean, they're 3D printed anyway, so they're not like... It's not like they're the best for, you know, having smoothness of detail anyway. You get the lines, don't you? Ideal for things like wood, I have to say. However... <laughs> not good in other areas, anyway. But yeah, so so P and Q that will be happening. That, that's it's, it's exciting. I, I'm super excited. I'll tell you what is exciting. I'm although I don't have a like a sort of preliminary date of moving yet. I feel 
that when I do get it, it won't be that much notice, really. Um, so the more prep I do now, the better, obviously. Um, but as soon as I get paid, payday, next payday, I'm going to be phoning up and inquiring about uh, self storage. Is you know, is there a, uh, an area or room I could um, rent for that? And arrange to get some of my stuff up there from here, the studio. Which does mean, you know, from that point on, I'm not going to be able to do a hobby here. I can still make videos, but, um, you know, I won't be able to paint or do any of that. I'm not, I haven't built anything for a while. I'm, it's just, that seems crazy to me to be even thinking about that. I won't be doing that until I move. But when I do, oh, yes. Oh, brother, I'm going to be... Uh, Doing that. Yeah, so there we are. And, oh. <laughs> I was driving around Google Earth the other day. Driving around. I say driving around. Going around the streets on Google Maps. From Google Earth. Where I'm going to be living. Just re I said I I emphasize that word re familiarizing myself with the location uh bear in mind I was a child when I lived there but I used to go everywhere with my dad he used to drive around you know you know pick whether it was picking up things fruit and veg or meat from the local farm or go into a scrapyard for whatever <laughs> for his car you know what whatever it may be I, I used to go with him. That's, you know. Had that sort of relationship with my father, you know. Good relationship. There we are. So. Um, was I saying? Oh, yeah. Driving around uh, the stores. Driving around the streets. And I came across a, a roofing contractor. Or officers for a roofing contractor. Now, this was... Um, just as we were going into lockdown, so with the whole COVID thing. So, I, I mean, I don't know what the state of play is now. I would hope that they're still in business. Um, you know, I would, I would hope so. We'll see. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and the name of the contract, I'm not going to divulge personal details, obviously, because... You know, unless I had permission, which I don't at the moment. Although that said, I'm thinking I could because it's um, the name of the business. They're advertising it, aren't they? So, yeah, I suppose it's okay to do that. Like, if it was, you know, Sainsbury's, say, a supermarket, I, I could happily divulge that information because that, that's the name of their business anyway all right then i will do this the name of the business was um rw dac and sons can uh roofing services and i thought i know that name i remember it from when i lived in seaton before and <laughs> there used to be Someone with the same surname, with a name beginning with an R. So I'm not divulging that. But, uh, and he was kind of like, kind of like the school bully. <laughs> and you got to bear in mind, it's, it's primary school, so, you know, it's really not that big of a deal. But... You know, when I first started the primary school, I think he was in his lots of later years there, getting ready to move move on to um, secondary school. He wasn't there, there long, as I recall. Anyways, I I was terrified of him as a child, but uh, I never had any. I don't recall having any issue with him personally, but I, was, I just remember being terrified of him, you know, in case I did. 
because he was bigger, bigger boy, you know, didn't want him to get me, you know, <laughs> he never did, that I recall, but yeah, I do remember being terrified of him, <laughs> so I'm gonna be very, it's very interesting, I'm hoping, you know, they're still going to be in business when we get there, and I want to see him, <laughs> and say, and hopefully find out if it is him, and I'm sure it will be, say, hey, do you remember me, and I'm sure he won't remember me, because, you know, I'm older now, I've got no hair now, I'm fatter now, wear glasses, well, I can take those off, but he might remember the eyes, it's always the eyes that never change, isn't it, and I will know his face if I see it, his eyes, so I a small chance, he's remember. I doubt it though, do you remember a kid from your primary school that you never saw again, after you went to secondary school, it's not likely, is it? But I'm going to say, I used to be terrified of you. You don't seem so scary now. <laughs> I might be employing your services. <laughs> I'm looking to get new gutter and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be very interesting. I'm, I'm hoping I can build up a bit of a rapport with him as someone from my past. There's another one, actually. Um, Peach's Garages. Peach, or Peach's Garage. No, I went to school with someone by the name of Peach. What's his surname? Actually, his father, who was a fireman, he ran the local judo club. That's where I first, first ever got introduced, well, apart from my father, to martial arts. was that judo club. Because all the cool kids went to judo. Yeah. It's either judo or scouts. No, I, I chose judo. It seemed fun. Uh, but yeah. yeah. It'd be very very interesting to see if he, if it's him as well. And that means these people have stayed in Seton all their lives. And that's fine. It's something I would have done if I'd have had the choice. I'd have stayed there too. You see, if you don't know, it's to me, uh, Seaton's a bit like the Shire in Lord of the Rings. It's a, it's a very close-knit community. Um, it's not a large area. It's one of the safest um, towns in, the, in, the, in Devon, actually. It's one of the safest, top five safest places. They don't really get much crime, you see. I mean, they do. You do get crime. Obviously, you get crime everywhere, sadly, but not really a lot, you see. I used to go apple scrumping when I was there. That's a crime because you're stealing, aren't you? <laughs> but as a kid, as a child, small child, go off with your mates, go scrumping down the orchards, and um, sad to say that orchard is now will now be my car park. Where I parked my car. Well, I was going to park it elsewhere. I mean, my wife's already got herself a, a parking permit for the orchard, as it's called, car park. No trees there. There was a couple along the edge, but. Uh, and they still have apples. You, see, you can pick the apples up if they've fallen. Windfall. You're not allowed to pick them. We used to go hunting for conkers as well around there, but uh, yeah, sadly, the uh, actual orchard is gone now. Made way for a car park. Uh, progression, is that what you, if that's what you call it. Anyways, modernisation. Uh, it's still a, it still looks very much like I remember it. The, uh, the square and everything it's just fantastic the location of our new home is sublime <laughs> near enough to the beach but sheltered as well from it so that is super cool because that's going to have a huge impact on your building and maintenance cost isn't it because you know, if you lived right on the sea front where you get battered from all the winds and that you, you'll be forever having your roof done, your tiles done and all, all sorts of things. Whereas 
if you're a bit hidden from it, you, you won't so much. So that's good. In my book, it's good anyway. But yeah, I was just curious to see that uh, someone that I recognise, I recognise the name. I recognise the name. We shared a friend at school. I had a, my next door neighbour was my best friend first. So we are the same age, of course. Um, and um, but we we we, uh, we both knew him. He was more friendly with him. I, I was just terrified of him. I probably could have been friends with him. Well, anyway. And if I'd have stayed in Seaton, we would have um, no doubt. I'd have no doubt seen him at um, secondary school, which would have been excellent start, I believe. Yeah, I'd have had to have gotten a bus. No, yeah. I might do a sepia wash on this lacquer flesh. Hmm. Or should I do a agrax ash? I think we'll do a sepia. Or do I have a brown glaze? Oops. Brown glaze. See, I do. I have it. I have it right here. Oh, something I'm going to get for uh, my move. See, that says brown glaze. That is so thick, it can't be. It just can't be. That's a hard coat. I've got any Lamia medium or some other mixing medium. Mm, got a quick shade mixing medium that I might do. Lost my train of thought. Sorry, that happens. That happens. Oh yes, yes. Um, I was saying about um, going to be moving my stuff up to Seaton. Uh, mixing medium. Come on. Might as well use it for something. Yes, so, uh, moving my stuff, I'm thinking of getting a sack truck, or something like that, a trolley truck, uh, some sort of manual moving truck, lifting and, well, not lifting, but, yeah, because the self-storage area is literally a stone's throw away from where I live, but too, just too far to be carrying heavy stuff uh, backwards and forwards. There, didn't know. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, so we got that to uh, contend with. I'm gonna have to get a sack trolley or truck, whatever you call it. Get one for about thirty quid. It's just a couple of different types. I'm just not sure which one would be the best, really. I'm going to talk it over with my wife. See which one she thinks would be best. And then do it. Once we're there, of course, I may need the sack truck. Oh, excuse me. For other things, which is another conversation. We are thinking of maybe getting into the music scene. It's going to involve a lot of research there first. Our first port of call was to see if they did live music there and anywhere. And they do you know, quite a few places, so there's a clear live music scene there, so that's good. I just want to see the type of acts and things they get there, that kind of thing. Oh. Yeah, so, and our, our name, because it's just my wife and myself now. 
our name is Rock's Drift. Because it's kind of us against the world, basically. Us against, the, in the face of adversity, it was always a bit of a... Uh, well, not an in-joke, an in-thing, though, definitely. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do some Astoraf Red. Dry brush for this rug, carpet, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so whatever, whatever the, whatever scene is going on. I didn't get enough, took too much off. It's all very well, doing dry brushing. You don't want to take all the paint off. Uh, something, isn't it? Let's do another one. There's a few places um, that do live music there. Um, the place we stay at do, does live music. Well, we know that. Um, um, right, so we've got a carpet there now. With a bit more detail showing, so that's good. That looks quite good, actually. I like that. Ooh, I like that. Uh, yeah, so there's a few places, but we need to keep going to, to ascertain what type of acts that what place gets, what mood, what kind of flavour they they like. You know, there's I mean, for instance, there's a there's a rock bar, clearly a rock bar. You know, a jazz place, uh, blues, and that's just what we saw in one day. Uh, you know, so once you've been there a while seen a few live acts you get to see what regularly happens there then <clears throat> and then it's a case of performing yourselves um, which would mean us we'd have to practice obviously <laughs> clearly we've got an amazing PA system and speakers and that and I've got an okay bass amp for the uh, what I would need there it's not it's not huge I had a, a much bigger one when I was in the uh, my, my other band, but I needed to compete with some loud stuff uh, back then. It's a lot more controlled than this one, so it's kind of a lot better. You're not playing the Albert Hall, as they say, so uh, you know you really don't need to. Now, what do what do they charge for acts in Seaton? Um, do you know? I'd be I'd be willing to do it for nothing really. <laughs> I just like I like to perform. Um, minimal fee, perhaps. See, if we were playing, say, for instance, where we live, the place called the Air Court would be the nearest place for us to go. So it's called the Air Court. Um, literally down the road. Still need several trips, but that sack trolley or that sack truck would be instrumental in uh, you know helping us to get the stuff down there. Uh, we could put some stuff in a, in the car and get down there, <clears throat> unload it, blah blah. Could do that, could do that, could do that, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a weird thing thinking I could be playing music where I grew up. Wow. My father would have been proud, I think, following in his footsteps. I tried to follow in his footsteps here in Plymouth, and I have played in places, or at least one place I'm pretty sure he played in. So I've done that. And sung and everything else. And it's, 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 um, yeah, it's, it's an odd feeling. Because my father used to, he was a one-man band kind of thing. He had a drum machine. Uh, he sort of played rhythm guitar and harmonica and uh, things like that. He was he was awesome in singing, obviously, but he was country and western. That was his thing. 
Uh, I've done a couple of country and western songs in my time. Um, and they're fun, you know, they're fun. What time have we got here? Just gone over the halfway mark. Well, that's, it's not bad. I've kind of run out of things, not things to do, but things that I had planned. So now I'm looking around at my miniatures on, on the table here thinking, right, what can I do? What can I do? See, those crates in that were kind of... Um, Planned. Uh, right, I do need to finish off these guys. That is that much is true. That much is certain. That much is certain. I, I would like to keep his uh, boots black. I need to do the cord around his neck. I need to do these uh, wrist guard things that he's got. These wristbands and forearm. They're probably leather, aren't they? But I mean, he's got darker skin anyway. See, these. I'm. I'm going to be doing a, a gladiatorial arena, and these guys are going to be populating it. So. At the moment, I'm thinking, well, we're going to do a, say this cutting mat was the arena. All right. We're going to do a, like, you know, almost like a league. So I'll give them both stats. It'll be him versus him. And then my character may end up facing, like, the champion, which will be, which I'm thinking is I'm going to have this dude. Or this this one will come forward and be like, you know. This is Sigma right, that guy. He's gonna be like the black knight here. Uh, you know. Yeah. So that's gonna be good. I could do with dry brushing the sand I put on his base there. So I could do with that, really. But Do I it down? That could be quite a good colour, couldn't it? Yeah. Is that jaundice? Jaundice. Well, I've used up my palette already. That's no good, is it? So it's time for a new palette. And this again is going to be dry brushing. I'm going to use this makeup brush here. And then I'm going to just lightly dust over the surface of this sand. Like so. And then, then I can do the Steel Legion drab around the base, which is something I want to do. Uh, yeah, so we're going to do that Steel Legion drab. Well, let's get these colours back first, shall we? Uh, like desert yellow that can go away. Although that's more of a more of a brown, but. Uh, yeah, whatever. So I'm looking for Steel Legion drab in my um, in my paints right now. Steel Legion drab, come on. Uh, let's go for brown. Scrag brown, no. More than I thought I had it then, you know, I thought I had it. Steel Legion there we go. Here's a Steel Legion drab. It's unopened though, which is... 
unusual to say the least. Do I have any steel engine job over there? I don't think so. <coughs> Excuse me. XV88. Yeah. Can I get a standard gray and lead belcher? I'm going to pop those away. Lead belcher over there. Gray can go in there. Hmm. Steel Legion Drab. Oh, we got some out already. He finds it after all. That's okay. That's okay. This happens to me all the time. Even on a bench where I've got not many paints out, I've got a lot of miniatures out, but it's okay. It's okay. No prob, Bob. No prob, Bob. So, this Black Knight. I've no idea how he's even going to fit into the whole story. No idea at all. None whatsoever. Right, but what I do know... is I'm going to use him. Steel Legion Drab. Is kind of my go-to for miniature base rims. Yeah, so I'll let that dry. Awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right. What could I do next? Well, I could do some wash on him as well. Particularly his shield. But I'm thinking his shield and the spear. You know, get that one there. Uh, get that one done. So I'm excited about moving again. The other week I was a bit down about it all. I, I'm up and down like a kangaroo. It's uh, it's terrible, really. It's not a good feeling. I don't enjoy it. It's very stressful. There's a lot of stress involved with um, on, um, the, the death of the family member I had back along. It... Um, Not to, you know, apart from the fact, you know, it was uh, unexpected. Apart from that, <laughs> let's just get this wash on here. Right, just leave him there, leave him alone. It's probably too much wash on that shield. I guess there is. I'm just going to mop up some of that. There we are. Let that dry. Right, okay. That's that. Phew. Something else done on him. I've got these dudes here. Remember these? These are going to be in um, my role playing games, but I don't know how. Are they going to be adversaries? Just NPC characters? I don't. Don't actually know. I really don't. Yeah. Um. It's a matter of. Working out what colour I want to do the feathers on this dude and the skin on him. Mm, I, 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 desert yellow. I'm thinking it would be good for the feathers. And some sort of brown. I could do jaundice. Yeah. I've got 
cracked leather, which is a darker um, brown, haven't I? Yeah. And I'm thinking that would be good for his flesh parts, not that one, but this one. Just checking my phone momentarily. Uh, it's not telling me anything right. Yeah, I'm thinking cracked leather for the mus muscle parts. There's not an actual lot of them, just bits that aren't feathered. I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. This could be a different colour. No, this is an airbrush. This is Minotaur. So I'm not going to fill it down an awful lot. I'm put a little bit of water in it. But not too much. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to do the underside. And it is quite thin, the paints I've used. So it's probably going to have to have a couple of coats on there, on that one. Just wash him out a minute. So we need a smaller brush, it's true. Mm. I do that character brush. Character brush is good. Well, this is, oops, sorry, knocked the camera there. Not that that should shock you. Let's knock it again. There we go, knock your back. Not that that should shock you because that's kind of a, a common thing for me. Knocking the camera. Um, so I'm wondering how many other old school friends that I remember will I still f will I find when I go back to Seton? I'm very intrigued. Very intrigued. So yeah, so that's gonna be good. Now this is the awkward parts. <laughs> I've got an auntie and uncle who live in Seton as well, so hopefully I can connect with them. And uh, that would be good. I might even be able to see my old cousins as well. Now this is uh, definitely not planned for what I'm doing here now. I didn't even know I was going to do this colour. It's only a base colour anyway, so it's not going to be like the main eye-catching bit. I'm just looking forward to uh, living in Seaton, you know, um, feeling like I'm on holiday there, but it's like I don't have to go home because I am home. <laughs> Literally, you are home <laughs> and that's gonna be awesome. Now, do 
wouldn't go on about it too much, but uh, there's a lot of other places around as well that nearby that we can um, go to, and I'm looking forward to being able to share that with my wife. Um, lots of beautiful places. Um, lots of amazing places that I remember from my childhood. Hmm. Blackberry Castle. <laughs> I did a video on that. We went there a few years ago now. We had a good time. And a good time was had by all. So, uh, hmm. Go to these other places anyway. And there's places in Sidmouth and Beer and, you know, Axminster, Axminster, uh, Collerton, Colliford. There are places. And places I don't know as well, so so that's going to be good. I'll paint the tails and the base colour of this as well. It's got like twin tails. So thinking about Christmas then. Um, it's going to be very chaotic. Probably until, I'm guessing, around about my birthday. So by the time things start settling down again. Um, obviously one of the first things we've got, to, we've got to sort out is our work area, our new work area. Um, and get set up online and all that other good stuff I've got to um, I've got to work out a list of different services that we're going to be needing and who to use and contact because even in a small place like that there's going to be more than one person that does a certain thing um, but I do want to keep, I want to keep it local, you know. I mean, my, uh, my uncles, and on my dad's side, they were plumbers uh, in Seaton for that area. They were the plumbers. So I don't know who they're going to be the main sort of plumber services now. Uh, yeah, get that done, and you know, electrician or general builder. Ah, oh, so much. I know I said I wasn't going to do any sort of DIY building work, but I'm, I'm, I, I've been talking with my wife. I'm thinking. The little courtyard we've got at the back, there's just a couple of areas on it, like where the, the cement's a bit uh, cracked and could do with levelling off. I thought, we could do that. I could do that. Knocking the camera again. Sorry. Yeah, I thought, I could do that. Well, that's that. Well, that ain't bad, uh, all in all. That ain't bad. Done a sort of a, a, a base colour. On his skin there. Feathers will be brighter. Let's just pop my cracked leather away now. Minotaur. Why have I got Minotaur paints? Back in the day, when I first started the hobby, I thought if I saw a uh, tutorial on something, I had to use the exact same paints they were using. That's why. The Minotaur, I can get from America. So like the Badger um, go-to 
and he used Badger Airbrush. I used exactly the same stuff that it was on the tutorial. But, you know, you live and learn, don't you? It's one of those things. Hmm. A nice coffee. Well, I think this is going to bring me to the end of On the Bench. So my glasses off. I'm going to zoom out now. So here we go. Oh. Sorry about kicking the camera here and there. Oh, let's pull my top mat. I've got my, I've got my heating on because it's bloody cold. <laughs> At least when we move, I'll be in the house. So the studio won't be a separate building. It, it will be contained within the house. So be warmer for starters, I think. But then in the summer, it does get hot here. I mean, it's insulated well. It doesn't take long to warm up, but... Um, in the winters, it just puts you off coming out to hobby. Whereas if you're in the house, you're there. You might as well hobby anyway. Um, <laughs> so I'm pretty pleased with what I've got done here. I think moving forwards, I mean, even these things that I was priming just now, these uh, little crates and things, even if they just stay in that state, I can pack them away as is i can do that there i'll keep them here until i pack up for the final time in case i run out of things to paint like i don't know why i would but um because i've got my imperial fists i've got my outriders and these other guys to do yet but mm, you know i've got these other guys still wondering what sort of what sort of thing to find it with? Do I do the grit, the sand? Do I do the like the Vallejo Dark Earth stuff? I don't know. Don't know. I really don't. It's <sighs> excuse me. Oh gosh. Ah, yeah. It's um something I'm not sure on yet. I might even just leave it until I get to Seton. Anyway, other Imperial Fists, the rest of the ones that came in the, uh, the box set, the, the, um, oh, I forget the name of it. Uh, was it Dark Imperium? It's not Dark Vengeance, I know that. Uh, anyway, whatever the latest one was, um, yeah, I can, I can pack them away like they are, I suppose. I've got Tor Garadin, do you remember? He's there. He's he's the leader. Raring to go. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, I'll, I'll be able to play them um, at my local game store when I get to Seaton, once I get established, you know. And that'll be good. Not sure if that'll be able to be filmed. I'm hoping it will be, but um, that'd be awesome. But you just don't know. Um, yeah, you just don't know. Right, that's it for me. If you could do me the most enormous favour, please like, hit that like button. That would be absolutely amazing. Um, hitting the like button really, really helps. Just clicking that button, like, really helps. Got to beat this YouTube algorithm. Get, get, get the channel out there. Which we're growing slowly, but surely we're growing. So looking forward to the future i will see you guys on another video so don't forget that all brushes lead to war my friends and see you then